late spring now and the magical sun brings my neighbor's sunflower pasture into full bloom. Love is blind, and there's someone out there for everyone. Even those of us with leeches stuck to our feet can get some attention in the spring. It's a time for claiming territories, calling for a mate, and pushing our tribes and generations forward. We like what we like, and if we're lucky, we find a partner that likes it too. This big machine I call my farm is ramping up to full speed now. The farm ponds are being cleared and repaired, and the soil prepped. The mud is dried out over the winter, then is conditioned for the type of fry that will be grown in each specific pond. This soil in a large part determines my success or my failure. Some critters have made use of the land between last year's harvest and now. They'll have to be evicted. It's time to raise koi here. Over the next few weeks, the ponds are slowly filled. A black rat snake stops by to check out the progress then slips back off into the grass. The blackberries ripen, and my kids walk around the farm with blue lips for about three weeks. The koi are active, curious, and always looking for a treat. This black mass is bird netting I've stitched together over the last few days. Each spring, the netting on a few of my ponds has to be replaced. Unfortunately, once in a while, larger snakes get tangled in the netting intended to keep birds out. This water snake is being relatively calm while I clip it free. 
Whoops, I spoke too soon. Now it has its teeth caught in the netting. This will give us a chance to get a closer look. We can see the rows of little razors angled back for gripping its prey. These snakes strike very fast and they're hard to predict. They're critical to the ecosystem here and I release them when they get trapped like this. Here's where I got a little careless. This one got me good. The bite was cleaned and doused with alcohol. The snake was set free. The mating calls are answered and the next generation is created. This is a pond full of males ready to do what mother nature is urging them to do. I begin pulling up my breeding pairs. This male Showa is from Takeda of Yamataki Koi Farm in Shizuoka Prefecture. And this female is from Takeda in the Hiroshima area. This Becca was one of the best I've ever seen. I've owned her for 10 years. This male and female show have spent many years together, but this is the first time they've seen each other in three years. It seems obvious they know each other well and are catching up. Both of these showas are old fish, 12 to 16 years old. The other male was born in 1997. Notice the way the older male has positioned himself with the female. He would prefer to be alone with her. The other male is pushed away. Over the next few days, other parent koi are pulled up for breeding. fry begin hatching. These are sanke fry at two days old. We can see their swim bladders well at this age.
Our koi world is filled with fascinating people, many eccentric, all interesting in their own ways. This client called me and said, Brady, I want this many koi and I want to pay this much for them. I'll send my guys to the Monroe Airport to pick them up. The koi were packed, a private jet arrives. All right, we'll see you. The koi were put in the cab of the plane and they were off as quickly as they landed. These koi are going to a private collector for his family's personal enjoyment. They'll never be shown and the collector isn't active in any koi club. There are a lot of koi collectors like this who prefer to enjoy the hobby privately. We go back to the farm and gather some treats for the koi. On rainy days, earthworms are plentiful, a perfect food. The black widow spider is one insect we watch out for when we're turning over cement blocks, rocks, or sifting through stored PVC pipes. The bite can be nasty. This anole enjoys the warm sun in its half-shedded skin coat. And a tree frog finds a choice spot in a holding tank. The fry continue hatching. These are only a few hours old too young to be bothered with the Daphnia swimming around them. Tomorrow's another day though. These are three day old Kohaku fry for my pairing number two. And these are Kohaku fry that are 11 days older for my pairing number one. We can see the huge jump they've gotten in just a few days. The farm is running full speed now. All the ponds are filled. In a few days, Kohaku group number two are looking like group number one did.